thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup haul, mainly from Sephora, a couple of items from Ulta. I bought all of this pretty much during the past week or two, pretty much during the holidays. Um, I don't know if it happens to you guys. Actually, I know it happens to you guys. I know I'm not the only one out there that's like Christmas shopping for everyone else. And then you're like, I would like that. That would look good on me. I need that. And honestly, that happened a little too much this season, this Christmas season. I bought myself more than I should have, um, especially when I was supposed to be shopping for other people. But anyway, that's besides the point. I found some really good products that I want to share with you guys. So, let's start off with the bigger bag. So here, this is from Sephora. This is the Sephora Favorite Superstars. I have not seen this product online or on Instagram or anything. So when I walked into the store, I was like, oh, what's this? Um, and I really, really like this. I can't wait to use it. So it comes with, well, obviously you can see the products here, but let me show you the actual products. It comes with a few minis and then, um, a couple of full-size products which I think is really great because you really get your money's worth this set is $75 and there's definitely more than $75 in here so there is um, a mini Charlotte Tilbury cream I don't think I can get this out maybe I can or not okay here we go this Charlotte Tilbury cream it is a moisturizer it's called Charlotte's magic cream instant turnaround moisturizer um, I've never used Charlotte Tilbury, but I've heard really good um, things about it, so I can't wait to use this. Um, I've been really into skincare lately because I'm trying to improve my flaws, so I'm excited to try that. Then it comes with the mini Becca highlighter. You guys, if you haven't tried Becca highlighters, you need to try Becca highlighters. They are some of the best in the market, like in my opinion, probably like top three. And it's a mini champagne pop, super cute. The next product is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So it is a primer and moisturizer in one. Never tried it, but I've heard of it, so we'll see how that goes. And this is a pretty good size. I don't think it, it's half an ounce, which is pretty good because, like, for example, a lot of full size foundations are like one ounce. So half an ounce is really good. And again, that's supposed to be a mini. This is also supposed to be a mini, but. This is a whole ounce, so in my opinion, I'm not sure how the full-size product is, but in my opinion, you're pretty much getting a full-size product here. This is Too Faced Hangover Prescription or Hangover RX 3-in-1. It is a replenishing primer and setting spray. Okay, I didn't know that. I knew it was a primer, but I didn't know it was a setting spray. So that's really good. Um, can't really smell it. We'll see how that goes. One of my friends did tell me that this is great. She's like, girl, you need this in your life. So I finally got it, gonna try it. Okay, this is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kit and Karma, which is like a rose gold almost, bronzy kind of. I don't have this color, but I have it in Diamond Dust. These things are amazing. They look so glamorous on. They're so easy to get, easy to apply. So, and I actually wanted a rose gold type of color in this. So I'm really excited that, that I got this. These alone are like $20, $25. So again, you're really getting your money's worth with this. Next product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil or the brow is in medium brown these are really good it comes with a spoolie on one side and then of course your makeup on the other side definitely recommend this it is a full size so again getting your money's worth and urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil um, so this is an eyeliner in the shade perversion perversion is the blackest black they have which i love um, and urban decay actually has really good eyeliners they're like number two on my list Dior Show Mascara. Dior Show or Dior makes great mascara. This is a mini. Um, then we have the Fenty Beauty um, Foundation Primer. This primer is amazing. I have the full size, so I'm really excited that they gave a, a trial or a mini size because 
I keep a little travel size makeup bag, um, like in my overnight bag and stuff. And so this is perfect. I don't have to carry around the full size. And then the next thing I can't get out, can I? Oh yeah, I can. And it's a super mini Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier makes one of the best setting powders on the market. Like for a long time, nobody could compete with it. Could compete with it. But yeah, it's a mini. So again, perfect for your like travel bag or overnight bag, whatever you want to use it for, instead of carrying the big one because the full size is kind of big. And then the last product is Underage Red, which is a lipstick by Kat Von D. It is a mini as well. This is super cute. So yeah, really cute. Again, I really love this. You definitely get your money's worth with that. Then my favorite lip balm, no other lip balm I've ever tried tops it, and it's fresh. Um, but fresh lip balms, one full size is $24, and that is kind of pricey, but it's honestly worth it. But anyway, I found this set, and it has three minis in it, um, for 25 bucks, and I was like, that's perfect. Like, you're paying almost the same price, but in this case, you get to try different shades. I don't think I can open it. I'm not going to go through the trouble, but yeah, definitely worth it if you suffer from dry lips, or you just want a good lip balm, definitely look at fresh, um, fresh lip balms. And if you can still find the set, get it. That way you can get all three, try different ones, see which one you like most, but it's a good deal. What do we have next? Next bag. Okay, so one of my, one of my favorite, no, actually my favorite skincare line, like body care, is um, Kiehl's, and I usually buy the eight ounce bottle of Kiehl's lotion for $30. Well, this little set was on sale for $48, $49, and this came with the whole full size lotion, which I had actually bought the week before, but anyway, it comes with the full size lotion, it comes with um, the body polish, soy milk, and honey. And then it comes with the dry body oil, which is so amazing. Your your skin like soaks it up. It feels so like silky smooth. And then a hand cream. The hand cream is really good. Like it makes your hands super soft. But in my opinion, it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, like Vaporu. And I'm not crazy about it. So the smell's not great, but the performance of the hand cream is wonderful. But these three, definitely, they smell and feel so good. So yeah, if you're interested in getting some good skincare or body care for yourself, try these. What I love about the lotion, the Cream de Corpse, is that it um, is not scented, and I don't really like scented body lotions. It's not scented, it's not greasy and oily, it's just like the perfect, like, body lotion. I, I really can't describe it, you have to try it. But again, if you are interested in trying it or if you already like these and just want to get a good deal, look for this, it's at Sephora. Oh, what else? I'm running out of breath. Um, the next product I bought was Huda Beauty. So I usually like to keep options when it comes to makeup. I like to have a couple of foundations on hand, a couple of setting powders, concealers, etc., etc. I just like to have options, but I also like to have good options, so it takes time for me to find something I like. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake. They do have a range of shades, it's not like most setting powders that are like translucent or just translucent and, and deep. This one has several shades that you can pick from. This is like the third or fourth lightest, it does have a pinkish tint to it, really like it so far. Definitely recommend Huda Beauty base products. Um, also got the concealer. The concealer is pretty good as well. I got this in cotton candy. Then I got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It is what I'm wearing today. And it is amazing. I am so impressed, which it is hard to impress me with makeup. But I definitely recommend this. And then I also got from Sephora, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. So this is a 24 hour foundation. I believe it's like a natural matte type of finish. Um, but again, Ultimate Coverage, which is what I look for, full coverage. I haven't tried that yet, but my sister swears by it. She's the one that put me onto it. So I will be buying, I mean, trying that, and I'm sure I'll love it because it looks amazing on her. 
the next product I bought was the Lancome Long Time No Shine, and this is a translucent setting powder. Uh, yeah, it says loose setting and mattifying powder. I have not tried this, um, but it is a new product from their line from Lancome. So yeah, again, I was looking for options, um, looking for new setting powder, so I went ahead and got this. Hopefully it works out. And then from Ulta, I got the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. It's been out for a couple of years and I've been wanting to try it. I just hadn't gone around to it. Um, and it comes like this in a tube. It is 0.84 fluid ounces, so it's right under one ounce. A little smaller than most uh, most foundations because like most are about an ounce like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, who does 1.18 fluid ounces? So you actually get a little, a little over an ounce. This one's right under an ounce, which is kind of like, I don't know, like you get less product for still a high-end price. So you, it's up to you. <laughs> but it is a good foundation, not as full coverage as the Huda, but still, it is called a full coverage foundation, but it's not as full coverage as, as others. Um, but it is good, it's very matte, very matte. Um, I did wear this when I went to a concert. So obviously I was singing, I was dancing, I was out for a while, I had a really good time. Came home and I was matte as ever, so it is matte. And the last product I got was the Patrick Star Setting Powder. Now, if you have followed me for a while on like Instagram, then you have heard me rave about Patrick Star Setting Powder. It is so unique. Like, there's, I, I have it. There's some really good ones on the market, but the texture of this one is just so unique. It's so light and airy, but sets you in so good. And it came out, I believe, last year. It was last year's holiday collection, I believe, and it sold out pretty quick. I did get to pick up two, but obviously I like to have backups. So um, Patrick Starr announced that he'd be releasing a new holiday collection with Mac, and he said, I don't know how true this is, but this, that this was the last collection, and if it's true, then that really sucks because, again, nobody makes this powder um, or a powder like this. So when I heard they were re-releasing the powder, I had to get it. This packaging is different from the packaging from last year. Kind of like last year's better. Last year's was just like a plastic jar with a twist off lid and a sifter. This one's actually like a cardboard type of jar. As you can see here, this metallic cover with a, his signature on there. And this one does come with a poop. So that's pretty cute. I like it. And then I haven't opened it yet, but it, this is the liner, and then you open that up, and the lip, the, it's the sifter, and the powder comes out. So um, this one's actually five dollars more than what they priced it for last year. Last year was thirty-four dollars. This one is thirty-nine dollars. I'm assuming the packaging and the, the poof is what, or the puff, whatever you want to call it, um, is what caused the price difference. I'm again not crazy about this packaging, but. I was willing to pay it, it was worth it for the product itself. If you guys can get your hands on this, definitely get your hands on it because I had last year I had so many friends that were like, oh I want it, I want it, and I looked for them and I could not find it anywhere. Um, and they saw it on me and some of them even came over and tried it for themselves and they were like, oh my god, like this is so flawless. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. That is it for today. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, but that is what I bought for my holiday shopping. I guess this is kind of like my Christmas gift to myself. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions about the products or want follow-up to see if I liked them, feel free to drop a comment, send me a message, just let me know. I'll be more than glad to share feedback. And again, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and share.